Unlatch the door. Brace yourselves. Jim Hawley and Jens Lundy have known each other practically all their lives. He's more like, almost like a brother, you know, somebody I could never get rid of if I wanted to. You know, we'll always be friends. Hey, do you remember the life jackets? Yeah, I got them. You worry about flying the plane. We've always been really close friends. Here they come. The friends have asked their fathers to join them for a weekend of fishing in Mexico. They hope that the trip will prove a turning point in their relationships. I hadn't seen Jens probably in three or four years. We kind of drifted apart. When I called my dad, I don't know that he put as much thought into, I'll get to hang out with my kid. Hi, Dad. And really just have that dad-kid friend relationship that I was looking for. <laughs> We really didn't have, have much as far as in the way of emergency preparedness. Jim continues to impress his dad with his aviation skills. Real smooth takeoff, Jim. Couldn't ask for a finer day, gentlemen. The fun things that I saw out of the trip was to be able to go with Jim and have him be able to fly the plane down there and that he was showing that part of his success in life but I was very happy with that, and I thought this will be an opportunity for us to spend some time together and talk about things maybe we haven't talked about before. From Arizona, it's a three and a half hour hop to the small Mexican port of Loreto on the Baja California coast. To the south, the sparkling waters of the Sea of Cortez teem with marine life. There are tuna, marlin, and yellowtail but it's also home to 150 different types of shark and a highly unpredictable giant Humboldt squid. Loretta Tower, Mooney, November 201, Juliet Mike. I'm about 30 miles out. I see a lot of weather building in front of me. Can you give me an idea of the weather at the airport? I had kind of a premonition that something was gonna go on with this, something was gonna happen. I was beginning to get pretty concerned. I couldn't raise anyone. Okay, guys, I'm gonna take us through this. We'll make better time. Jim thinks it's just a squall, but he's actually flying into a violent storm. It was just a real weird mix of waking up and trying to figure out where in the story I was in, in the opera and what was going on in the plane at that point. I'm gonna take us up. I'm doing it, do it! I'd like to have my stomach back! As soon as we were heading the other direction, the sky got blue, the turbulence stopped, the rain stopped. Everybody okay? I didn't think you felt the bumps in first class. Their sense of relief doesn't last long. It was very alarming when the engine quit. It just, it just sort of grenaded. What's happened, son? I don't know. There's a single propeller blade stuck in the vertical position right in front of us. It was like the hand of God reached up and shook the plane. Unlatch the door. I was ready. I had the headrest in my hands. If that was the last thing I ever saw, I wanted to see what happened to me. Are we going to be knocked unconscious and die, or you know, is it just going to be, you know, boom and lights out? I realized that nothing had happened that I was expecting to happen. I was expecting the plane to cartwheel and come apart in pieces. 
we're live. As his friend's father continues to deteriorate, Jens reaches a decision. I was worried about John. I couldn't handle watching John die. I didn't want to be there for that. Jim. Jim. Jens and Jim separated from us for some reason. I'm going to try and make it ashore. My plan at that point was to leave Jim with my dad to care for my dad in case something happened. OK, let's do it. No, Jim, on my own. And I said, come on, yeah, that's, are you going to swim by your, you going to swim alone? You're just going to leave us and swim well, alone? That doesn't make sense. We should swim together. I had already made up my mind at that point that I was leaving. Jim knows it may be the last time he sees his friend. Now he has to break the news to Jens's father. Where's Jens? He's going for help. Why would you let him go by himself? You shouldn't have let him go by himself. That's my son. And he said that uh, they had decided that somebody needed to go for help. And since Jens is probably the strongest swimmer of all of us. Uh, he took the swim fins that, that Jim had on. My dad never saw me as being a strong person, and I was gonna show him <laughs> that I could do this, and he couldn't. It was that. It was that I've grown up, and, and I'm gonna show you. Jim's dad is now exhausted and seriously dehydrated. His condition is deteriorating by the hour. I felt very helpless uh, because there's nothing I could do. I couldn't pick him up, I couldn't hold him, I couldn't uh, drag him off in any direction to safety. There's, uh, there's a feeling of extreme helplessness. As night fell, the storm subsided. But Jens still has many hours swimming ahead of him before he can reach land and raise the alarm. I'd been swimming for nearly six hours. I was thirsty, uh, really thirsty. Exhausted, Jens faces a new ordeal. Ow! A swarm of stinging jellyfish. It felt like when your hand goes to sleep or your foot goes to sleep, just in little spots all over. They were getting in my shorts, which is not a place you really want jellyfish. The barrage of stings push Jens's already exhausted body to the verge of total collapse. I had way too much to live for, you know? <laughs> All I wanted was to make sure I got back to my beautiful wife and my child. I could hear my wife's voice of encouragement. Just hang in there. You can get through this. I'm fighting off the cold. I'm fighting off the chills by using more energy to keep myself warm. And I remember thinking, how long can I keep that up? How long until the body finally just gives out? And will I be aware of that happening? Or will I just sort of all of a sudden, you know, there's a light and there's grandma and Elvis and, you know, it's now over 12 hours since their plane was forced to ditch in the sea, and all three men are beginning to lose hope. They don't know if they can make it till daylight. Their only glimmer of hope is Jens making it to shore, but they have no idea if he is still alive. Jens is still struggling to find his way through the hazardous reef. Finally, after two hours, he sees something. It was just uh, 
It was amazing. As I swam farther and farther south, I saw a light on the beach. It was a Mexican fisherman that had camped out on this beach. He doesn't get the reaction he was expecting. The fishermen are wary. People coming ashore in the middle of the night are often drug smugglers. I'm sorry, I don't understand. I'm not, not hablo espanol. I'm... The fishermen spoke no English. Not enough to communicate what happened and what I needed. Jens is led away by the fishermen. He has no idea where they're taking him, but he's given up trying to make himself understood. It was horribly frustrating to not be able to, to, to tell him, look, we need to go back out there and find these other people. They are in danger. And instead of heading out to look for the others, they started taking me south. What Jens doesn't know is that the fishermen are taking him to the port of Loreto. There, he can at last alert the authorities to mount a rescue mission. Now, he faces an agonizing wait for news. The Mexican Navy, alerted by the helicopter search crew, are on their way. Jens' epic swim has saved their lives. We could see on the deck of the boat a large party of sailors. They were so happy to see us in the water and see us alive. I think they were happier than we were. In a lot of their missions, all they found was bodies and some of the young Sailors were, were crying. And Jim was the first one off the boat. And he just, he hugged me. I thought you were dead. There was a huge sense of relief for the both of us to, to see each other again. Yes. And uh, my dad came over and hugged me and told me he loved me. And that's the first time my dad had said that in years. At that point, I really felt that he did. I felt that he was proud of me. And I still think of him as a hero. <laughs> 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 <laughs>